one's your pop. That's him. Okay, okay, you guys. <laughs> Very funny. You guys are being real mature. Maybe we were adopted. <laughs> okay, real mature, guys. Okay, Nick, can you pick up my phone? Why? That's strictly. Jesus, didn't that guy ever have hair? Hey, fuck, man. You're a slacker. Do you want to be a slacker for the rest of your life? No. What did your mother ever see in that kid? I don't know, Doc. I don't know. I guess you felt sorry for him because her dad hit him with the car. He hit me with the car. That's the Florence Nightingale effect. It happens in hospitals when nurses fall in love with their patients. Go to it, kid. Hey, George. Buddy. I have been looking all over for you. You remember me? The guy who saved your life the other day? Oh, yeah, good. There's somebody I'd like you to meet. Lorraine? Calvin! I'd like you to meet my good friend, George McFly. Hi. It's really a pleasure to meet you. How's your head? Oh, uh, good. Fine. Oh. I've been so worried about you ever since you ran off the other night. Are you okay? No, oh, it's Hardy. I'm sorry, I have to go. Come on! Isn't he a dream bone? Doc, she didn't even look at him. This is more serious than I thought. Apparently, your mother is amorously infatuated with you instead of your father. Whoa, wait, wait a minute. Doc, are you trying to tell me that my mother has got the hots for me? Precisely. Whoa, this is heavy. There's that word again, heavy. Why are things so heavy in that future? Is there a problem with the Earth's gravitational pull? What? The only way we're going to get those two to successfully mate is if they are alone together. So you've got to get your father and mother to interact in some sort of social... Well, what, you mean like a date? Right. Well, what kind of date? I don't know. What do kids do in their 50s? Well, they're your parents. You must know them. What are their common interests? What do they like to do together? Nothing. Look, there's a rhythmic ceremonial ritual coming up. Of course, the enchantment under the sea dance. They're supposed to go to this. That's where they kiss for the first time. All right, kid. You stick to your father like glue and make sure he takes you to that dance. George, buddy, remember that girl I introduced you to? Lorraine? What are you writing? Uh, stories. Science fiction stories about uh, visitors coming down to Earth from other planets. Get out of town. I didn't know you did anything creative. Uh, well, let me read some. Oh, no, 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 no. I never, I never let anybody read my stories. Why not? Well, what if they didn't like them? What if they told me I was no good? I guess that would be pretty hard for somebody to understand. Uh, no. No, not hard at all. So anyway, George, about Lorraine. She really likes you. She told me to tell you that she wants you to ask her to the Enchantment Under the Sea dance. Really? Oh, yeah. All you gotta do is go over there and ask her. What, right here, right now, in the cafeteria? What if she said no? I don't know if I could take that kind of a rejection. Besides, I think she'd rather go with somebody else. Ah, uh, who? Beth. What you want? You know you want it. You know you want me to give it to you. Shut your filthy mouth. I'm not that kind of girl. Oh. Well, maybe you are, and you just don't know it yet. Get your meat hooks off of me. You heard her. She said, get your meat hooks off. Ah, please. So what's it to you, butthead? You know, you've been looking for a pop. <laughs> Since you're new here, uh, I'm gonna cut you a break today. So why don't you make like a tree and get out of here? 